awake pilot. So tell me how this works. I don't know. I close my eyes. I open them. Same as you. Ashes to dashes. Dust to dust. We now lay Ray Thomas. Let's just start at the beginning. That starts at it right now. Fair enough. I understand you've gone back to work. You got and you got you working with a partner. Detective Britton are here. They just want someone to hold my hand until they know I'm okay. Are you okay? Witnesses interviewed about twenty. Most of the bar came out after. But he didn't actually see the cab driver and get shot. But this one guy, Mr. Weaver, he lives right above. The where is he? He's st- he's over there. He's over there, sir. How are you doing? Good, thanks. I understand you saw the whole thing. Well, not the crime act exactly. Just heard some shots, and then I looked out and saw some guy run away. Where did he run? He was up that block that way, and then into the alley around the corner. But I didn't. But didn't I already tell you, Dennis? Thanks for your help, sir. As I was trying to say, the witness on the ground confirmed there's cameras on the building over there. Go see if you caught anything, if it, if it caught anything useful. I've been meaning to thank you, sir. Been passed for the for detective twice for this assignment, so I'm pretty sure I'm still being uniform. If you hadn't requested me, I didn't request anyone. It's just you got promoted. It's nothing to do with me. They probably didn't want to waste anyone else. It was time, time, time babysitting me. Now go check the camera. You're just in time to help us clean up. They finished downstairs already. I did a study too. You're quick. I'm still on the first wall. She did. She did. Did she start redecorating the house after the incident? Accident right after the funeral. That's a common reaction. You're just looking for ways to start afresh. How is she? Has she, has she has she gotten to your son's room? I think she's been been in there. I don't think she's been in there yet. That's what I, what and when what what I wake up. That's Aaron. I've got to go. So what about a match? What about it? I was thinking of coming. What do you want? You said that the tennis is new. Yeah, well, sort of. Your mum was a good, very good player. She played in college. She taught him. He used to play a lot into discover football. He decided to take it away up anyway. Since your mother was wife's funeral, what's the purpose of this rubber band? It just helps me keep things straight. Green is Rex's favourite colour. I wear a red one when I'm with Hannah. You mean in your dreams? What else? Coffee detect- morning coffee detective. You see this coffee maker? Six hundred dollars. My ex wife, she wanted one of these. I told her she wanted a six hundred dollar coffee maker. She should go to not go marry the police. She should not have married police. Eventually, we agree. Eventually, we agree on that. Tell me what you see. I see. I'll tell you what you miss. My husband and wife victims multiple stab wounds. Some signs they got up, put out a fight. Some signs they had lost. Any money? Wallet, purse, come along. Well, well, gone. Long with one of the cars, a BMW. All right. What am I missing? Home invasion that turned messy. That is why I avoid success at all costs. I mean, you work out the whole life, get some nice stuff, just so somebody can come along and kill you for it. Camera on the telephone. Come down to the fridge, says the girl was at uh, practice. Helping to track her own de- her down. Also says the parents should have been a meeting, but they but bet they wish had gone. You smell it? Come on, you know. At a night I had a cut shower cold sh- since Clinton's administration. Girl was here. What happened? How do you know? She hid in the closet, pissed herself at so either she ran with a killer left, or he took off. Damn, that's what I got that's what I get for hoping. People in New Deal. And this hasn't been happening since the accident. That's fascinating. Not to be insensitive. I just, it's just that we came up with all sorts of ways to get through the loss of a loved one. 
like your son taking up his mother's sport and retaining some sense of correct connection with her. But your mind is simply created an entire reality where you can't actually lose your wife at all. I don't think I've ever seen a coping mechanism quite like it, a elaborate and ongoing dream in which you haven't lost your son, where you were living we living you on the of the publication dealing with his death. Maybe I'm sorry, whether I am with his wife or with my son, it feels completely real to me. You mean you're not sure which is a dream? Maybe you didn't see whether you're awake or asleep at this very moment. Incredible. Of course I'm awake. I wake with my wife. I close my eyes, I open them. I don't wake with my son. Can I assure you, Detective Britain, this is not a dream. Exactly what the other shrink said. Right here, take a look at this. Could hardly you ask for a better angle? Right there, turns right into the camera. Like, like, she, like we took, he meant to take a look at it. Look to, to, meant, like he meant to look at it. What about, why not, why couldn't, wouldn't he do that? Why would he not do that? Why would he do that? Texas, uh, got another one. Another what? Dear Kirby. Cab pulls up and up, doors open. Two loud bang, bangs. Pop, pop. Everyone scatters. Driver runs to the sidewalk. When a suspect walks away, right into the crowd. Skinny cowboy. Hat. Big sunglasses. Overweight. Heavy band. Some kind of ball, ball cap. That's wonderful. With a killer who do, does costume changes. Let me guess. He got he's got himself caught on Coconut Mare again. Jimmy gives give him a pat of auto. Well how do you get have a have a have a ego? Oh it's like he post post for it. And start making statements I see if I can find out anything about the driver. Yes, sir. Come out the captain's moving me over to Western. What? Why are you calling a promotion? Calling a promotion. Which is what they called it when they split us up. I figured he want my desk. Anyone else near yours? You watch yourself with him. Captain ain't moving me. I'm getting her a man to look over her shoulder for nothing. There's nothing for him to see. I'm fine. What is it? What, which is what? I told her I've been, been transferred to which the faster way. So which is the faster way for him to get to where he wants to go? Telling the chief that she wants to hear. Or telling her what she, you'll find. Detective, this is a safe place. Talk to patient for identity. Means you want to share what you share with me. Stay with me. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to help. You're not here to judge. My job depends on what you write down. A piece of paper. You're doing your job, detective. I see... I don't see for any reason to change that. In fact, I see the value of returning to a familiar routine. But you lost your suffer, you lost, but you lost, you suffered and not, is enormous and for your health. You have to proceed it, process it and deal with it. And I can help, but it's not. But if you're not, you don't, if not, but not if you don't like, like me. Have you, have you, have you been t- told your wife about you're experiencing, what you're experiencing? At first I told her everything. How, how she, he gave up. He you given up the football and gone back to tennis? But the girl kept on calling him. I know, I think maybe, I thought I could be in a bridge or something. Even if they didn't see each other, maybe, if I told him about her, about him, it would be like we were still together. You know what, but to her, he's not still alive and hearing about it, talking about it, but it wasn't comforting, it was torture. Just as you continue to imagine a life of him, your wife is coping to be- by beginning to imagine a life without him. As I assure you, however she might appear, she's not grieving any less. Did you tell her why she wants, she want, did she tell you why she wants to move? She said it's too hard to live in the empty room upstairs, yet you didn't determine to stay there. To me, the room upstairs is empty. Thanks for your help. Hey, bird. We've got a stolen car right in the neighborhood. 
I got by, to buy how the killer got. It's got to be how the killer got to the scene. Neighbor said they saw it early at 5 p.m. No time of death isn't until 9 p.m. If he wants to rip out of a couple of rich people, what's he waiting for? The girl, she doesn't get dropped off until 8.45. 15 minutes later, parents are dead. And they're out, and they're out there, over there. You say you were supposed to be in a meeting. So who's going to, this is going to find her alone. When he doesn't, he knows her. He knows them. There wasn't a, this wasn't robbery. This is a planned deduction. Let's talk about, talk about the world's commander. Commander. Okay, come on. I've got something I've got to do. Now, I just need an hour. Two max, not what for, for what? I had told someone I'd be somewhere. After two years playing football, didn't expect him to end up on the final. Tara, I'm the coach. How do you do? Hi. He's exceptionally talented. He had a very good. He had a very good teacher. I'm just sorry, your wife is an amazing person. You know, uh, we used to play doubles together, very briefly. She used to mop the floor with us kids. I thought we were ready for the tour. You are the one you should have played, prof- should have played professionally. You think, you think so? I did. She was better than me. I guess the grind just didn't appeal to her. Appeal to you, though. Thought it would be a lot more... Would be a lot more winning, Wimbledon, less qualifying New Jersey. Wouldn't really know what he's doing out there. He just, it was his mother. He used to talk to, you know. He talked about it a little, really. What does he, what does he say? He missed her a lot. It keep, it helps him miss her a little less. Match point. You know, if he wins this easily, after he's laying long day off, I might never Get him to practice. Son, you okay? You okay? That what is the, what, that's the best show on TV. Now why? What's the total, what's the total garbage? TV didn't want that. Didn't even want that. Come on, it's about models. I think that home was a different appeal for a fifteen-year-old boy. Does to me. What about you, Michael? You have a favourite show? I like the one with the dreaded orange chef. Really? I thought. I really thought, Mum. Oh, he thought Mum recorded that. No, that's me. Why? I like it. I like it's good. K. Do you see the one where he made that other that guy uh, made a guy is fine. Hey, worry. So he's a bird. He found the kidnapper's car. Waverly long term parking lot on the bird docks. How quick can you get there here? Oh, okay, yeah. I've got to take Rex home, and then I can take him if you want. I'll get a ride for Tara. You sure that's okay? I'll be right there. I'm glad you came today. Me too. This is your idea of Tara's. She's good at this kind of stuff. I see you at home. Well, you won't be late, I promise. What do what do we got? What do we got? Lot security found the parents' car. Now from the blood trail there. It looks like the kidnapper takes a girl out of the stolen beamer and sticks her into whatever was parked. It's base 572. Take a look. Now it was drizzling, drizzling, an hour, drizzling an hour ago. The crying guy shot those before the ground dried. Now the plan is to go over the plate numbers of all the cars in the lot and see if anyone saw anything. See if they remember what was part of space 572. Actually, let's see if you remember the part behind it. In his space 61161? Why, well, look, they both got a dry spot. But at the same, so I figured, 9611. At the same time as 572. 
Well, who was parked in 611, probably the last person to see the kidnapper's car. Wait a minute, so you're saying you want to ask people about the space the car wasn't parked in? You know what I'll call myself. You send me all the numbers, I'll call from home. You okay? How's Rex? Mean? How's he doing? He's lost his muffer. How is everybody supposed to handle this? Don't forget we have dinner tonight. Reservations I eat. Do me a favour. Don't wear any of your suits for work. They creep me out. Pull the tapes. The security tapes. We see them like a hundred times. Guy once. He ditches the disguise. He could come back and stay in the crowd all day. We never knew it. Why would he do that? Think about it. About it. About it. It look into the camera, the disguises he loves he can practically turn himself in. We couldn't and we still can't catch him. He'll win the bet he fit, likes to have a front row seat, watch us fail. He run we run the tapes for the hours after the murders. Maybe we can catch a face that pops out on both crowds. Both crowds, black beard and black wig matching. I omit descriptions. Turn up and dumpster. Fifteen blocks from the second cab murder scene. Managed to pull a single red hair from the wig. We run the DNA. Great. Yeah, but the debate debate is so small. Unless we've been, you've been in some serious trouble. You probably don't want to get a hit. Well, we know what we're looking for, a redhead. There's something, that's something, right? Pull the tapes. All right, first up, 611 Waverley. All right, Ginger. Hey, where are you? What did you say, Ginger? No. 611 Waverley. Yeah, the restaurant where the first clubby got killed. That's the address. Why? There's a weekly Waverley lot out of the docks, right? Well, what does, what does that have to do with this, Bitten? Are you okay? I played the tape. I say it's entirely reasonable. He was even, he was even expectant that these sort of details would begin to cross over. Things you're resting with in real life are likely to manifest themselves in your dreams. I knew about the wavy parking lot and the Space 611 from before I knew the address of the first cab number murder. So how could I have, so how could I have dreamt it before I knew it? But did you? You said yourself that you were in the pa- on the paperwork. You have you were in the uh, location. Even if you didn't consciously note it, your brain might have. It found it important enough. The details Waverly six one one should could simply manifest it themselves in our, your dreams via the imaginary parking lot. I really saw. I really oh well, I really saw it in the parking lot. Not first, it repeated itself now, and his dream here to tell me that there is something terrible going on there. Detective Britain, as I said, was no had no there's no frantic value in allowing you to pretend that your realities are interchangeable. There's no kid up child, there's no car parking lot, and suddenly but critically. Quickly, there's no world in which your son survived an accident. Well, yeah, well, with all due respect, Doctor, I don't know what, what that, that, that's true. If, if, if it isn't then, it's a kidnapped girl who needs our help. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, well, with due respect, Doctor, I don't know that's true. If it isn't, if it isn't, then they kid at the girl. There's a kid at the girl who needs my, any of my help. Okay, then let's ask you, let me ask you this. Which murder came first? The cab driver? So you begin working on the face case here. In reality, and then suddenly you begin to work in, on another case. There, in your, uh, your dream. We should also talk about the kind of case you're working in your, that you're working in your dream. A married Missing child, every issue you're struggling to come with to the terms. So your subconscious turns to the case which you solve. I understand the pain you feel, detective, but that pain is echoing in your dreams to tell you to, to you to have a deal with it. 
and not to gnaw it. And when you do these dreams, fantasies will end. Eventually so will your plane. So you see, as soon as I decide which one is dead, they will stop showing up in my dreams. Believe that's way likely. Nothing. It'll be just, it'll be just nice to be out. You already applied, you apply, already applied. You think I'm so too old. I'm sure you not, I'm sure you can do keg stands. And the best with the best of them. Just what about, what, what about your work? I quit. Really? Uh, where are the schools at? One of them in the city. The other one is in Oregon. The Oregon is yes, that's why you you wanted to get dressed up because it could come out the hair. Have a little have a little chat. No, I wanted to get dressed up and go out because I think it's time we start doing things again. You remember that restaurant in New York, like that, this fancy place, you pretended to be a food critic. You got us a great table, that meal, a huge meal, all for free. What, what made you think of that? I was just thinking about how persuasive you can be. You want some wine? You know what I would think. I think we should go home. I think we should get pregnant, I know. I know it's fast. I say what you will about us working, not working through our issues. Yet, it's not about replacing him. No, okay, it's not. Just know that you're going to want to have another one. And I don't. I don't want to be a hundred when I'm, he's at high school. How do you know of him if it wouldn't be a boy when he's in high school? You said no, so. How could you know? I didn't. I don't. So what do you think? I think we should think about it for a while. How's the house coming along? Just one more room. Did I tell you about my partner's kid playing tournament tennis? The kid reminds me of you, me? The way he hit the ball, I mean, 25 acres in the, the field. It crushed those nerves. It's just like he poured his whole body into it. You know, and he was drawing even shoot a forehand and catching it like he was going, was always saying. Damn it, Michael. I'm sorry. You can't do that to me. Are you having, are you having those dreams again? I had one. He's gone. I guess I could miss him too, Michael, desperately. But he's gone. What's the fire crusader about that all? You know, he's explaining me stuff about sleep. Dreams, how everything works. Is it working? I feel better, I feel better every time I open my eyes. You suddenly seem very concerned about what's real and what's not. Well, Dr. Lee said a couple of things that I'm having trouble letting go of. I think it's usual to ask yourself what you might have created a therapist who is, oh, is so confrontable. Is that your vision of how this should, this should work? No, that's the whole point. Why should I invent someone who argues with me? Dr. Lee would say the reason that you're so gentle, agreeing with me, because you could call, because you are me. So this is my very nature. That has you somehow focused on the idea, you real as all, this is all suddenly feeling like our dream. Just give me a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here, turn to your page. Just pick one. Now pick a spot. About halfway down and start reading. Oh, Lord, out loud. The House of Representatives which shall be composed of members chosen every second year by the people of the several dates, states. And when and electors of each state shall have the qualifications requested. Well, go on. What's going on? What am I, what am I get, go, doing here? Well, have you memorized the entire constitution? Then, well then it was, this is the dream your son had already died instead of your wife. And you're just making all this up, explaining to me how you turned around and page, 
just calling him my wife. Word, I can't. I don't know. Tell Dr. Dr. Lee, Dr. Then Dr. That Dr. Evans says it's not as simple as you make, make it, made it sound. Why would you do that? You seem distracted by this, by this fear of Dr. Lee as some sort of bulletproof argument. I could just thought that. No, no. You said somebody should, nobody should. I don't know the constitution. So how could I, how could I do that unless this is Hannah? Are you there? Hi, it's Hannah. Leave a message. It's me. Where are you? I mean, I don't know where you are. So I'm just not sure what's going on. It would be great to hear your voice, okay? Just give me a call. She's here. She's here. What are you doing? Thank God you're still like you're still there. Of course I'm still here. What's going on? It was, it was, I, was, I was calling my name. Your name. Why do you? Why do you not hear me calling your name? Listen to me. I'm okay. All right. I'm not going anywhere. Let me see your hand. Can I, you at least tell me what you're looking for? Maybe I can help, I'm not sure. Well then, well then, uh, why are you here? Uh, it was a dream about, I, I had a dream about it. Oh, I'm having a dream. Nothing. Look, look. We still have partial face matches. The tapes look over, okay? Got witnesses from the other scene. A witness, a guy from 611 Weaver. He said he saw a killer up the, run up the street and turn off at the alley. Yeah, the, all the witnesses confirmed that he ran in that direction. That's what the security tape shows. I mean, that's what happened. Did you go up to the apartment, look out of his window? No, why would I? Everyone had the same story. There had no window on the other side. If you're on the ground, you see the alley from here. So, so you uh, see the way it turned into... From up there, there's no way you know that. Unless you're the one who actually did it. Call it in. Hold on. There is another entrance here in the back. Come over it. Hey, move it. Stop. Police officer. Get out of the way. The guy. An apartment full of costumes. Teaches eighth grade. Maths. You're joking, aren't you? Right? About what? Coming back here because of a dream. I mean, that's not why we came, right? Because you're doing stuff like that. The sort of thing that we've been asking me about. What have you been saying? What have you, what have you been saying? Nothing, Mike. You've just been staring at the pavement for the last hour. I think he's told you what he knows. Look, the, the bloody trail led right to the car. It's, it's 672. What does it matter? What was parked in 611? Look, the blood trail led to, right to the car 6572. What is it, what does it matter? What does it matter where it was parked in 611? I mean, don't you think they should have seen everything? Like a bleeding little girl being forced out of her car, one car and another. We weren't, and we weren't here from them, and we, that we wouldn't hear, heard from them by now. Wait, what's, what, that's it. What's it? But we assumed that these vehicles left at the same time. What if they left exactly at the same time? You see the dry patch right there? That's a tow hitch. It wasn't a pickup truck here. It was a trailer, an RV in 611. We got four camper hits in the same area. As we canvass for sex offenders, three of them are sitting in them driveways. Their driveways. It's sitting in teams to check them out. The other just turned up on the lake in the foothills. Ranger said the guy's been there since Monday. Day the money does. Have you seen this? Duh. Did the guy have red hair? Red hair? Why? No reason. Tell him to keep a distance perimeter. Decent perimeter. We're on our way. Moving up. What do you get? Someone uh, so that's inside with a little girl. So it were your noise? Yes, sir. What's the best approach? One the right. You're brave. Don't, uh, don't, did I tell you what happened? You tried to get away. He says he will keep talking about marriage.
We got four campers hit in the area. Three men with cameras or sort of sex senders. Three of them are sitting in their driveways. They're sending teams to check them out. The other just turned up in the lake of the foothills. Rain said the guy's been there since Monday. Day of the murders. Have you seen this? His ID? Did the guy have red hair? Red hair? Why no reason? Tell him to keep a distant perimeter. Decent, distant, decent perimeter. We're on our way. Moving up. What do you got? Suspects inside the, the little gal. Sorry, we are noise. Yes, sir. What's the best approach on the right? You're safe. Did I tell you what happened if you tried to get away? She says you keep talking about marrying her. What the Lord had brought them at the board brought them together. You want to tell me how you, you knew he had red hair? Hunch. Been a cop for 20 years. I ain't seen hunches on TV. So you're going to stick with that? She got a family go to. An aunt or something. I'm not even sure she understands what's happened yet. I remember when you used to think that sold and fixed meant the same thing. Your mind will allow you to go endlessly back and forth to between the realities. You let it. You created a momentum memorabilia strip. How would you like me to help you if not willing to participate in a realistic examination of your, of your situation? I never said I needed help. They, they did. I'm fine. Your bad alcohol has elevated the night of the accident, wasn't it? Didn't have it, didn't have anything to drink. Oh, that's what you said. But the medical report says it was elevated. Was it not? Have you considered the possibility your condition comes not out so much of the, from a relevant desire to keep your son alive, but an intense need to shield yourself from your own responsibility for his death? Does it raise a whole lot of questions? I'm telling you, there's no way that I drank that night. But you don't remember anything about that which led to the accident. Maybe this is all your own way of trying to help yourself remember. Just as it seemed to work, does it, just as you seem to work at the cases in your dreams. Perhaps the, the fact that your wife survived in one and your son in the other. So you have different partners in each. It's actually all a way of getting to you to think about that night. Clues to the peak. What actually happened? Detective Britain is fancy, far from benign. While your spring should be resting, recharging, your conscience is using it, whole in detail, complete of alternative reality. We don't, if we don't deal with this situation, you will rent, it will eventually become unsustainable. Look at your hand, a moment of panic, confusion, are led to you to do what, that to yourself, it's just the tip of the iceberg. The thing is, Doctor, yes, I could see, I still see my wife and my son. I also watched both of them lowered in the ground. And did you see your loved one buried? You have one thought over and over and over again as that you would do anything to get them back. So you're telling me that the price of seeing them, feeling them, or having them in their life, if I sanity, the price of a happy play, they'll come and see you and talk to you as long as they make me but trust me when it comes to letting one or don't go I have no desire to even make progress you're going to see you're going to see him tonight tell him I love him I will